For question number four, we have two functions, f of x is equal to x plus 5, and we also have g of x is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 6. Our goal is to find the expression for g of f of x. First of all, this means we are going to do g of f of x. We are going to plug in the expression f of x into the function g. And we know that f of x is equal to x plus 5. So my first step will be, this is the same as g of f of x is now x plus 5. And then the way to do this, g of, f of, g of x plus 5, is that we are going to plug in x plus 5 into the function g. Wherever we see the x, we are going to replace the x with my red x plus 5. So, let's see. According to my original formula, I have the x right here, x to the second power. I'm going to open the parentheses, and then I'm going to draw in the x plus 5 into that parentheses to replace for the original x. And that's to the second power. Continue, I have plus, I have the 4x, so I will do 4, I open the parentheses for the original x, and I will plug in x plus 5 into this parentheses. And we also have minus 6 on the outside, and yet, just like that. But then we still have to multiply this out, distribute it, combine terms. Let's do this one first, x plus 5 squared. Let me do it on the side right here. Let me do some scratch work. x plus 5 squared. This means I have to do x plus 5 times x plus 5. That. And I'm going to foil this out. I have to do x times x. I will get x squared, and then I will get x times 5, which will be 5x. And then we also have this 5 times x plus another 5x, and 5 times 5 will be plus 25. And notice that we have the 5x here. And the facts there, we can combine terms and get 10x. So this will be x squared plus 10x plus 25. So x plus 5 squared, this will be that. x squared plus 10x plus 25. Or you can use the, form, uh, the binomial formula to multiply this out. doesn't matter. It's the same. And for this one, I have the 4 in front of the parentheses. I just have to multiply the 4 inside. 4 times x, I get plus 4x. And we also have the 4 times the 5, which will be plus 20. And at the end, we have the minus 6. Just like that. So you see that we multiply everything out. And now we are going to combine terms. Let's see. I noticed that we just have the x squared right here. So that's the only x squared we have. Doesn't combine with anything else. Let me just bring it down. And let's look for all the x. I see I have the 10x right here and the 4x right here. Positive 10x plus 4x, we get 14x plus 14x. And then for the numbers, we have 25 here plus 20, which will be 45. And then 45 minus 6, that will be 39. So that's the most that we can do. We're plugging x plus 5 into the original function g, multiply everything out, and then with combine terms, and my final answer is x squared plus 14x plus 39.